So, good morning po. For the continuation po ng ating employment relationship, I'll be uh, talking about the significance, also the changes in um, managing interest. So, unahin po muna natin yung significance. Ah, sorry, uh, malinaw po ba ang aking boses? Yes po. Yes, ma'am. Thank yes, ma'am. For the significance of um, employment relationship concept, uh, the concept of employment relationship is significant to HR specialists because um, it governs much of what organization need to be aware of in developing um, and applying HR processes, policies, and procedures. Also, um, they need to be considered in terms of what they will or will not contribute to furthering a productive and rewarding employment relationship between all of the parties concerned. Um, for the changes naman in employment relationship, um, Galilee uh, said that the evidence for major change in the nature of employment relationship was less convincing. But they also note that um, the following characteristic of employment. Um, number one, yung new form of management often based explicitly or implicitly on the on HRM. So yung mga principles and emphasizing individual contracts um, rather than collective bargaining. Next is um, there was some increase in test discretion, but there was no evidence of significant decline in managerial control. Um, in some important uh, respect control was intensified. Next is um, <clears throat> excuse me, supervisory activity will was still important. Also, integrate integrative form of management uh, policy were centered on non manual employees. Next is the great majority of employees continue continued to attach a high level of importance to the intrinsically motivating aspect of work. Then, the higher level of skill, the more people were involved with their work. Um, next is the raising of skill level and the granting of increased discretion to employers are the key factors in improving the quality of work experience. And lastly, the high level of commitment to the organization can reduce absenteeism and labor turnovers, but there was no evidence that um, organizational commitment added anything over and above other organization and task characteristics with regards to the quality of uh, work performance. In managing um, the employment relationship, uh, the dynamic and often big nature of employment relationship increases uh, the difficult, difficulty of managing it. Um, usually, the problem is compounded because of the multiplicity of factors that influence the contract. So number one, um, ito lagi naman nangyayari sa atin, yung uh, culture of uh, the organization, kasi hindi naman lahat, eh, naka-Philippine-based, yung iba foreign-based. So, iba-iba talaga yung culture na um, nag uh, kocontribute sa factor. Next is um, the prevailing uh, management style. Like, for example, um, um, makikita natin yun, di ba, mayroong mga uh, interview for uh, the highest power here in the um, country, which is the, ano, the uh, president team. So, makikita natin no, kung anong style ng pagmamanage nila <clears throat> sa Pilipinas. So, may humanitarian, mayroong um, kamay na bato, and so on, so on and so forth. Next is um, yung values um, that it, uh, espoused and practice ng mga top management. Ang top management ba is um, family oriented o um siya ba ay um bachelor ba siya na uh, uh, um free spirited na 
uh, YOLO ba siya or <laughs> you only live once ang kanyang um, values na iniisip. And then next naman is yung the existent or non-existent of the of a climate trust. So, mamaya explain ko further itong climate trust. Then, next naman is yung day-to-day -day interaction between the employees and line management. So, napaka-importante din yan. And, lastly, the, import, the HR policies and practices of um, the business. So, itong um, latter <clears throat> uh, are particularly important. So, the nature of the employment relationship is strongly influenced by the HR actions. Also, discover all aspects of HR management, but um, how people are treated in such areas, um, such areas as rec recruitment, performance review, promotion, career development, reward, um, involvement, and participation. Um, grievance handling and uh, disciplinary procedures are um, will be particularly um, important. So um, let's talk about more uh, yung mga um, contribution ng uh, HR for ano, development of a positive and productive employment. So number one, during recruitment um, interviews pa lang, no? <clears throat> excuse me, um, presenting the unfavorable as well as the favorable aspect of a job in realistic um, job preview. So dapat um, sa umpisa pa lang, realistic na hindi yung masyadong idealistic, di ba? Next naman is um, in induction programs, communicating to new starters, the organization, personal policies and procedures and its core values, indicating to them the standards of performance expected in such areas as um, quality and customer service and spelling out requirements for flexibility. Next naman is by issuing and updating employees um, handbook that reinforce the message delivered in induction program. So, kung ma, anong mga studyante pa nga lang tayo, meron tayong student handbook, syempre, um, uh, dahil ng katrabaho na tayo, mas importante na magkaroon tayo ng employees handbook para black and white. Nakikita natin or review natin kung ano yung mga um, Pinisend sa atin during the recruitment um, days pa lang. Next naman, also, by encouraging the development of performance management processes that ensures the performance expectations are agreed and reviewed regularly. So, ito, nangyari during um, mga uh, annual meetings um, kasama mga management. Also, um, by encouraging the use of personal development plan that spell out how continuous improvement of performance can be achieved mainly by self-managing learning. Um, like, itong ginagawa natin, so, isa, uh, ang pag-take ng um, master is part of the personal development plan para um, yung iba for career growth or um, academic advancement and so on. Next, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, next is by using um, learning and development programs to underpin, underpin core values and define performance expectation. Um, next is um, by ensuring through manage, manager and team leader training that managers and team leader understand their role in managing the employment relationship through such process as performance management and team leadership. Um, next is by encouraging the maximum amount of contract between managers and team leaders and their team members to achieve mutual understanding of expectation and um, provide a means of two-way communication. Again, a two-way communication, hindi lang one-way, hindi lang si team leader. So, dapat laging um, both ways. Um, next is by adopting a general policy of 
transparency. Um, this ensures that in all matters that affect them, employees know what is happening. Uh, also, why is it happening and the impact it will make on their employment development and prospect. Next is by developing um, HR procedures covering revance, handling, discipline, equal opportunity, promotion and redundancy, and ensuring that uh, they are implemented fairly and consistently. Um, next is uh, developing and communicate, communicating HR policies covering the major areas of employment development, reward, and employee relationship. Also, <clears throat> by ensuring that um, the reward system is developed and managed to achieve equity, fairness, and consistency in all aspects of pay and belief. And lastly, generally by advising on employee relationship procedure, processes, and issue that a further good uh, collective relationship. So this approach uh, to managing the employment relationship cover all aspects of um, people management. Um, it is important to remember that, however, that this is continuous process. Um, the effective management of relationship means ensuring that values are upheld and that a transparent, consistent, and fair approach is adopted in dealing with all aspects of employment. Um, next, punta tayo sa, um, sa trust. So, uh, I'm the Oxford English Dictionary. So, uh, trust is defined as um, is a firm belief that a person may be relied on. Um, as an alternative um, definition made by Sean, um, trust is to the effect that trust is the belief that those on whom we depend will meet our expectation of them. So these expectations are dependent on our assessment of another responsibility to meet our needs. So next, <clears throat> let's go on to the climate of trust. So, a high trust organization has been described by Fox as the following. So, number one, um, organizational participation, uh, participants share certain and or values, bear towards each uh, other a diffuse sense of long-term obligation, offer each other spontaneous support without um, narrowly calculating the cost of anticipating any short-term reciprocation. Um, communication honestly and freely and are ready, are ready to repose their fortune in other, each other's hand and give each other the benefit of any doubt that may arise with respect to goodwill or motivation. So this idea may seldom, if ever, be attained but it does not um, represent a picture of effective organization. Um, note that trust is a outcome of a good management. So <clears throat> when do we um, employees trust the management? So management is more likely to be trusted by employees when um, the employees believe that the management means what it says. So also observe that management um, does what it says and is uh, it is going to do, suiting the action to the word. So hindi lang puro salita, dapat ni action. Um, next is um, note from experience that management in the word of uh, David Guess delivers the deal, it keeps its word and fulfills its side of the market. And lastly, feel that they are treated fairly, equitable, and consistently. Um, next one is um, developing a high trust organization. So, sabi ni Thompson, trust is not uh, something that can or should be directly managed. It may be 
possible to trust management. But trust is an outcome of good management. It is created and maintained by managerial behavior and by development of better mutual understanding of expectation. Employers of employees and employees of employing vice versa. Um, but uh, Harriet pointed out that issues of trust are not in the end uh, to do with managing people or processes, but mo are more about relationship and mutual support through changes. So the sort of behaviors that is most likely to stimulate trust is when management is honest and uh, honest with people and um, keeps its word and practice practices what it preaches. Uh, moreover, um, trust will be developed if management um, act uh, fairly equitable and consistently. So, punta naman tayo kay justice for a while. I'm sorry for that. Um, so, injustice, to treat people um, justly is to deal with them fairly and equitable. So, so lagging fairly and equitable. Um, uh, Leventhal, following Adams, distinguish between this, uh, distributive and procedural justice. So, ano, ano ba yun? So, distributal justice refers on how rewards are distributed while the procedural justice refer to what um to the ways in which managerial decisions are made and HR procedures are managed. So people will feel that they uh, have been treated justly in this respect. Uh, if they believe that the reward have been contributed in accordance with their contribution. So that they receive that what they was promised to. And um, they also get what they need. Next is um, renewing trust. If in case um, uh, the, tr uh, the trust is lost, um, there are four step program is required for its renewal. So number one, admission by the top management that it has paid insufficiently attention in the past. Um, to employees' diverse needs. So, I think medyo mahirap-hirap yung admission, yung aaminin mo na nagkulang ka, na nagkamali ka, lalo na kung ikaw ay isang uh, nasa top management. Number two, a limited process of um, contracting whereby um, a particular transition to a different way of working for a group of employees is done in a form that takes individual needs. Uh, needs into account. And then um, next is establishing knowledge-based trust, which is based not on a specific transactional deal, but on a developing perception of trustworthiness. So, and then lastly, achieving trust based on identification in which each party emphasizes with each other's need and therefore uh, takes them on board themselves. Although this final statement is seldom reached in practice. So that's it for the employment relationship. Um, now I'll be discussing the psychological contract. Um, for the psychological contract, ito medyo, um, medyo mahir of explain, so bear with me. <laughs> Pero madali naman siyang intindihan. So for the um, psychological contract, the employment relationship is a fundamental feature of uh, all aspects of people management. Um, as it, uh, its most basic level, the employment relationship consists of a unique uh, combination of belief held by an individual in his or her employer about what uh, they expect of one another. So, take note of the word expect kasi uh, yan talaga yung magiging uh, foundation of the psychological contract. So, uh, this uh, is the psychological contract and to manage the employment relationship, 
effectively, it is necessary to understand what psychological contract is and how the, it is formed and its significance. So define muna natin si psychological contract. So fundamentally, um, the psychological contract expresses the combination of belief held by an individual um, and his or her employer about what they expect of one another. It can be described at, as the set of reciprocal but articulated expectation that exists between um, individual employee and their employees, employers. Um, uh, guess um, says that uh, uh, guess and Conway says that the psychological contract may lack characteristic of formal contract. Sabi nila, it is not gener generally written out, but um, it is somehow also blurred uh, at the edge, and it cannot be enforced in a court or tribunal. They believe that a uh, psychological contract is best seen as a metaphor, a word or phrase borrowed from another context, uh, which help us make uh, sense of our experience. The psychological contract is a way of interpreting the state of the employment relationship and helping to plot significant changes. So, um, ano ba yung significance nito? So, uh, the extent of to which people work effectively are committed uh, to the organization depend on the degree to which uh, their own expectation of what the organization will provide to them and what they own and organize in return match the organization's expectations of what they will give and give in return. Also, the nature of... Uh, what is actually to be exchanged, assuming na uh, there is some agreement, money exchanged for the time of work, also social need, satisfaction, and security in exchange for hard work and loyalty. Also, kasama din yung opportunity for self-actualization and challenging work in exchange for higher productivity. Um, high quality of work, and uh, creative effort in the service of organizational growth or various um, combination of these other things. So the psychological contract governs the continuing development of employment relationship, which constantly evolve over time, but how the contract is developing and um, the impact it makes may not be fully understood by any parties involved. So also sabi nga din ni Sims, um, a balance of psychological contract is necessary for continuing harmonious relationship between the employees and the organization. However, the value, uh, the violation of the psychological contract can be assigned um, to the participant that the parties no longer share or never shared a common set of values or goals. Um, next is the nature. So the nature of the psychological contract, um, the aspect of the employment relationship covered by the psychological contract, which include from the uh, employee's point of view. Um, number one is how they are treated in terms of fairness, equity, and consistency. Uh, next is the security of the employment. Also, scope to demonstrate competence, career expectation, and the opportunity to develop, develop skills. Also, involvement and influence, and um, trust in the management of organization to keep their promise. And lastly, um, safe working environment. So, the psychological contract may provide some indication um, of the answer to the following fundamental employment relationship question that pose individual poses. So, what can I re reasonably expect from the organization? Take note of the word reasonably. And also, what should I reasonably be expected to contribute in return? But um, it is unlikely that psychological contract and therefore 
uh, the employment relationship will ever be fully understood by either party. Um, from the employer's point of view, the psychological contract uh, covers such as such aspect of the employment relationship as um, number one, confidence, effort, compliance, commitment, and loyalty. So, ito yung model ng um, psychological contract. Ayan. We have the cost, the organizational culture, the HRM policy and practice, experience and expectation and alternatives to the content, which is the fairness, trust, and the delivery of the deal. And ano yung consequence nun? So, yung organizational citizenship, organizational commitment, motivation, and uh, satisfaction and well-being. So, next is um, how psychological development, uh, psychological contract develops. So, psychological contracts are not developed by means of a single transaction. So, hindi lang yung isang sabi mo, eh, yun na yun. There are many contract makers who exert influence over the whole duration of an employee's involvement with an organization. So, the problem uh, with the psychological contract is that employees are often unclear about what they want from the organization or what they can con contribute. Some employees are equally unclear about what they expect from their employees. So, dahil nga ganun, so meron tayong um, changing nature. So, psychological contract has not been an issue in the past because usually it did not change. There is no longer, that is no longer the case because um, businesses, um, organizations are neither stable nor long-lived uncertain prevails. Also, job security is no longer on an offer by employers who are less anxious to make uh, to maintain a stable workforce. Also, uh, flexibility, adaptability, and speed of response are all important in individual roles, maybe um, subject to constant change. And also, um, linear organizations means that career may mainly develop laterally. And lastly, um, leaners, a leaner organization may make greater demands on employees and are less likely to tolerate people who are no longer precisely to fit their requirements. Next. Part pa din ng uh, changing nature. So, si Kessler some of the differences between old and new employment contract as follows. So, for the old, um, relationship is predetermined and imposed. Pero sa new, uh, relationship now is mutual and negotiated. So, um, kinukuha na ni HR or ni top management kung ano ba yung mga insight ngayon ng um, bagong employee para makapag-create sila ng uh, contract. Also, um, you are who you work for and what you do. So now, you are defined by multiple roles and mainly external to the organization. So sa old, loyalty is defined by performance. Pero now, loyalty is defined by output and quality. So, hindi lang basta output, kailangan meron siyang quality. Um, for the old, leaving is a prison. So, kapag umalis na sa kumpanya, medyo iba natin yun sa iyo ng mga tao. Kasi, bakit ba ito aalis? Ganyan, ganyan. Pero ngayon, people and skills only needed when required. So, kapag um, kailangan mo ng growth at hindi na nabibigay ng company, um, mas okay na maghalap ng bago. Or, kapag hindi uh, vice versa naman, kung nakikita na ng company na underperforming ka na, so, kailangan mo na bago. Um, next naman is, kung ang old is employee who do what they are told will work until retirement. Now, um, long-term employment is unlikely. Expect and prepare for multiple uh, relationships. 
Next, um, part pa din ng changing nature. Uh, the following ways in which psychological conscious are changing have been suggested by Hiltrop. So again, from into, so imposed relationship like compliance, command, and control to mutual relationship. So from commitment, participation, and involvement. Um, from permanent employment relationship to a variable employment relationship. So people in skill obtained or retained when required. Um, next is from uh, focus on promotion to focus on lateral career development. Next is from finite, finite uh, job duties to mul uh, multiple roles. Also, um, from me, uh, meet job interviews to added values and from emphasis on job security and loyalty to company to emphasis on employability and loyalty to own careers and skill. And lastly, from training provided by the organization to opportunities for self-managed learning. Um, Punta naman tayo sa developing and maintaining a positive psychological contract. So, a positive psychological contract is for taking seriously because it is um, strongly linked to higher commitment to the organization, higher employee satisfaction, and um, better employment relationship. So, uh, what are the steps uh, taking, taken to manage um, the employment relationship uh, will also help uh, to form a positive psychological contract. So number one, defining expectation during recruitment and induction program. So dun pa lang, umpisa pa lang, nasabi nyo na both sides kung ano in-expect nyo sa isa't isa. So next is communicating and agreeing expectation as part of the continuing uh, dialogue implicit in good performance management practice. Also, um, adopting a policy of transparency on company policy and procedures on management propose, proposal and decision as they affect people. And lastly, generally treating people as stakeholders relying on consensus and cooperation rather than control and coercion. Like, um, usually, sa mga management, in isip, sige, umalis kayo, hindi kayo kawalan. Usually, yung mga word, eh. o vice versa, si employee naman, aalis ako, sige, umawal na kayo, hindi niya na alam kung anong gagawin dito, so on and so forth. So, dapat, um, sa isang company, you treat um, each other as a, um, parang, uh, stakeholder, hindi lang, basta-basta um, empleyado or mga bosses. And that's it for my um, report. Thank you very much po.